So we, uh, what we did today was execute what we call a maglev test. So we have a magne magnetically levitated sled uh, where we use a very cold liquid helium to essentially levitate the sled via superconducting magnets. Uh, and it's a developmental system. So we went ahead and uh, launched that sled for the first time successfully in a, in a couple years and uh, got some good data as a result of doing that. So. So probably the best way to describe it, the, if you look at the other rail that we're really well known for, it's very, very fast, but it's also a really rough ride for systems that go down that rail. There's a lot of vibration. So the maglev system gives us the ability to test, test uh, systems without as much vibration. So if you have si sensitive components that are part of a weapon system and you want to test them in a, a realistic re environment, uh, a system like this allows us to do that. So that's why we want to develop it so that we can test those types of components in a more operationally relevant environment. For the maglev system, uh, we're gonna, what we had planned to do after this test was, was refine the design of the sled itself. So this was a fairly heavy design, so we want to look at some lighter materials and continue to, to see what sort of capability we can get out of the system in terms of the speeds that we're capable of going uh, so that we can, again, measure those vibration environments uh, at various speeds and understand what the system is really capable of as we continue to go faster and faster. So yeah, today was the fastest uh, test we've ever done with maglev, and we went uh, 633 miles per hour. Uh, so in the past, we have gone, actually Wednesday, we went 513 miles per hour. And prior to that, uh, which was a couple years ago, we, were, we went 510. So the test today was significantly faster than any test that we have uh, previously done. So. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, fire. Yeah.